I'm still wearing my marble suit. I should stop that. <laughs> I went back to the log suit, but I got a top hat while I was at it because I, I wanted to be that. I wanted to be dapper. More importantly, I was a little tired of being insane all the time. I found I'm a actually... bunch of moon rock and dual sight though, so that's a thing. Dang. All right, you still have my golden pickaxe. I do. Do you want it? It's just sitting here in my inventory for no reason. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I, I picked it up and it has only been a burden to me. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I didn't need it. Because, <laughs> yeah, I, I wanted uh, I wanted to make another one, but I'm like, no, you have he's, it. I just have to recollect it. it from you. <laughs> but that... I just wasn't doing that. I, I think we we do get each other's map exploration, right? Yes, we do. Okay. So we should probably split up instead of me following you around. I thought well, we were going to go fight the say, bee queen. Yeah, we should kill the bee queen. I think we I guess were let's, just... Let's finish this little section, then go kill bee, bee queen. Yeah, sounds good. Oh, can you check under bosses? Uh, did we get shared experience for... Uh, like, do we both have the bear chair? Yeah. It should be under the King of the Hills seasonal boss thing. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Achievements. Boss. King of the Hill. Bear chair one. Okay, cool. So bo bosses are shared. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah, I don't have the deer clops, but you don't either, right? No, because neither of us killed the deer clops. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah, because the beefalo did it, right? Yeah. We showed or was those it the beefalo. spiders. I think it was the beefalo. Or, no, it was the tree guards. Oh, was it? Okay. Yeah, I wasn't there. He was wrecking trees, and so they just absolutely demolished him. Which I didn't even realize was possible. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think that specifically is the suggested way of fighting him. Is you you can air aggro deer clops to like a number of different mobs, including tree guards. I think it's like even like one tree guard should be able to fight deer clops, right? Uh, that's impressive. They're pretty tough. It's like kind of interesting that they're kind of a mini boss because they're actually like, well, really the seasonal bosses aren't that tough compared to the regular bosses is, is actually just a big part of that. Do you have a three light radius? Or is that just two? I think it's just two. Okay. I was thinking of bumping mine up one more and then we go do some of the underground stuff. Where am I going? Yeah, it wouldn't be a bad idea. Yeah, no, we're still going the right way. I mean, I guess there are items I could do that would, like, free up 24 of those points. <laughs> but really, I'm not feeling a strong need for a lot of the things after nanobots and refreshness. Yeah, now, now that we've become obscene, we're going to skip out a lot of, a lot of content. It's okay, though. Speaking of, here is the Bee Queen. Right in the middle of Tumbleweed Town. Dang. So do we have to break the... Kill all the killer bees first, just I'm because trying. we're about to go fight a Unfortunately, boss. Unfortunately, since they're aggroed on you, I can't... can't yeah, but you gotta kill the nest, right? So you just... If they're aggroed on me, you can just go up and hit the nest. Oh, Tell it's this one thing. around. Okay. Examine gonna... giant bee gigantic beehive. I can't just hit it. A uh, hammer. Hammer. I don't have one. Oh, we got dogs. Let's deal with that first. Four simultaneously. Uh. Eh? 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 <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. We can deal with the dogs. I'm just afraid it's going to be burn dogs again. Whoops. Where the hell's my hand bat? I know. I keep wanting to, like, eat it. I mean, they totally are burn dogs again. So I've almost gotten it to the point where I can two-shot every dog. There's something really odd about, like, fighting these guys with the top hat on. 
Does the uh, top hat lose durability in combat, uh, or since it's not armor, it doesn't count? Yeah, because it's not armor, it doesn't count, it seems. Oh, that's lovely. Because that was part of the reason why I was kind of staying away from it. I was like, this doesn't seem worth it. You want to hold the monster meat, and I'll hold something else? Uh, sure. I'll get the red jet. ashes over here. Holy crap, that burned a lot. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to put this beefalo wool over here. I don't think we're going to need that ever. Are we ready? Uh, you got any yeah. stuff you want to do? All right. Wake up. Dang. Great. And now... That is goopy. <laughs> Don't you like how the bee queen just is the hive? Yeah, I like that design element, actually. Like, you think the big bee is going to come out or something. Yeah, I, I thought she was going to, like, squeeze through the hole and we'd be able to, you know, fight her later or something. And the answer is nope. But I think your, your thing should allow for bosses to respawn. Hopefully. Oh shit, there's a frog. <laughs> the worst. <laughs> I've absorbed his legs. What does that even mean? I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. This is fine. I think I think because of the stun lock, even if you're mostly immortal, it still makes sense to kite a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. I just wish we were getting honey off of her, her little bee minions that she keeps summoning. Did you put any points into uh, lifesteal, by the way? I did. I think it's pretty clutch. Yeah. It's a uh, long fight. Hey, 100,000 damage. All right, now to level up in the middle of this boss fight, let's give myself some 10 more HP. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. <laughs> I'm still fighting. <laughs> I was fighting. I was sitting there mashing F and leveling up. It's not my fault I killed them all. Uh, gaming is power fantasy. I, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I, I... I know a lot of people get, like, mad at I mean, me where I just am always seeking the power fantasy when I play, but it's just like, I don't know. This is really fun. I get it. I've been there. I've been that person. Holy crap. Lady. Oh. Chill with the babies. I mean, like, any good... Like any good parent, she's viewing her children as part of her long-term life security plan. We're gonna have to put another point into life steal. Yeah, I have to put life steal because if I don't kite these at all, I lose health slowly over the course of the fight. Oh, and there's That's just a what? bunch of bats. Maybe they'll help us? Oh, we should have gotten the mod with the health bars. I considered mentioning it. Got hey, it. Hey, got her. You know, it is funny because once I realized that I have enough health and I don't need the armor. I started worrying a lot less about dodging hits. Oh, interesting. I can't put any more points into, uh... Let's see one second. Let me just... All right, do you got the royal jelly and I'll get the honey and the honeycomb? Sure. I'm just going to chow down on my spare berry supply. Because you're starving or just because you need the space? I'll pick up the stingers. Do you got the battleisk stuff or is that on me? Uh, let's see. I'm just trying to 
That one's on you. Do, do we care? I don't know how useful those are. What was that blueprint I just learned? <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> Where well, am I? I? Why am I, I here? <laughs> I picked it up and I'm like, oh, I should probably actually figure out what this does. Oh, oh well. I love Ross Perot. Well, should we oh. go back? Go back I think where? there's a bigger backpack we can get, by the way. Huh. I put on armor, and the armor got destroyed, and I think my defense went down to 90% again. Well, sounds like it's time for a respec. We should go into the Underdark. Yeah, we should. I think it's right over here, actually, so... Oh, uh... We should just set up a base. Uh, do we want to do that? Let's let's set that up near our old base, though. Just oh, for lack we have, of like, an old base somewhere time. around here? Well, no, 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 no. There's a, uh... If you want to go to the underground, there's an entrance just north of, like, our big base. That's a good so. point. Yeah, I guess we yeah. can just head back there. Yeah, here. Wait, why did I do that? Did you drop a, something? Here, follow me. I, I have a stinger supply. I totally suspicious forgot about this, boulder? but I've, I've got a... What's a well, suspicious boulder do? Oh, that's got moon rocks in it. We technically do have to collect those for reasons. Anyway, it's I've got a sign boulder. here. Let's see. Oh, let's see. Yeah, that, that weird boulder uh, has moon rocks. Unless it's a different thing. Dad had some. Oh, I see there's some dual site here. We take the yep. gems back to base probably, right? Yeah. What belongs here? I think the hammer belongs here. What else belongs here? All right, I should probably respect my achievement rewards because I don't think I need as much life uh, or health regen anymore. Uh, are we come to me? I remember what dragonfly is. I remember oh, there's a uh, there's a, close. well, there's a sign there if you want to teleport back to the base. Yeah, I was asking I was... what the name of that base was. <laughs> Oh, oh, uh, head for Burntown, because our old base sign got burned down. Oh, I see. Neat. But Burntown's close. Yeah, Burntown has everything one could want, so. Well, it's also within spitting distance of our old proper base. Let's see, we're going to make magic wands. We can make magic wands. I kind of need a science machine to make an alchemy engine. I've never prototyped the alchemy engine. I feel like I should do that. I like the franticness that the character like digs at the, the prize, the present that you get. They're excited to get a gift. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I feel like I need to stock up on some wood before going down. So you know what that means is. Yep. I'm glad that you pointed this out to me. Uh, what, the instant shopping? Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Do we get experience for just doing, like, everyday things? Yeah. Everyday things, it just doesn't get you as much. 
I'm never going to be able to not chop trees. It's my defense down to 98%. Why does, why does this keep happening? <laughs> I think the answer is never wear armor, right? Oh, is it because I have the bee queen crown on? Oh, does that give you defense? Who knows? <laughs> We're definitely going to need some more chests around here, though I think a lot of it just has to do with the fact that we should get rid of all of our Grubbin's tools that we don't need. Well, I'm working on the chests thing. I figured I would start by just chopping down an entire forest of trees and go from there. Let's see, we've, we've killed the bear tree already, so we don't actually need to stay above ground for anything else in the fall, right? Or are there any other events we need to worry about? Not that I know of. Okay. I'm actually going to retire the marble suit. It served me well. What the heck does the bee queen crown do? <laughs> Did you come up with something else to wear for the character? Uh, oh. Huh. What are you learning? Okay, so... The Bee Queen crown is why my defense is... Wrong. I see. Okay. Or, no, no, no. My defense is normally 95%. With it on, I go up to 98%. It has a mm. decent chunk of durability. Uh, so it's actually quite good. It didn't go down, it went up. Uh, so Bee Queen Crown converts nearby insanity auras into sanity auras. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I'm trying to figure out which... Okay. Uh, so... It means we can hang out near pacified tree guards, evil flowers... Houndius Shootius, which I have no idea what that is. Uh, or Beard Lords or Barrager. Okay. I think that Beard Lords are the um, things that the bunny men look like if you're crazy. Ah, got it. I went up to the level three light radius in the end. I just yeah, I did too. Probably worthwhile. Yeah, I'm finding now when I'm not wearing armor that the defense just goes up by one percent. That's just what it is. Hmm. Do you think I need a higher sanity cap? Do you think that would be useful at all? Uh. Kind of up to you. The thing is, like, what are the detractors of actually being insane at this point? <laughs> uh, beard lords. <laughs> but is that really a problem, though? Yeah, they're really not. I think that... I think that a lot of things aren't that scary. I guess I don't really need more health. I might as well just take more damage. I, I got up to 205 HP. I I figure that gives me enough leeway to tank most things. But I didn't really... I found that, like, the vampirism was pretty important during the boss fight. Yeah, and at that I've, point, got six, having, I've got six into vampirism. Just having more damage at that point is what you want to do, right? Yeah. Yeah. I put a little bit into life regen so that, like, when I'm just out and about, I heal back up. Yeah. Just in case, you know, I took a big hit, then killed the boss, because... timing. I mean, it makes sense. Yeah, I certainly was running into that issue before I was up to 95% health. All right. Okay, you will 
would be glad to know I am unrotting your elephant trunk for some reason. Oh, good, good. We should just turn that into some gear. I think there's a specific item we should make with it. I think it goes into a breezy vest. Okay. Let's see. So where are you now, and what are you up to? I am hanging out am at the other base. Up at the other base. Um, do you mind bringing some gear so we can have a refrigerator here? Or uh, we should probably keep all the refrigerators in one yeah, place. Yeah, just we? come down here. Yeah, I'll just come down to you. You didn't remake the sign, though, right? No. Uh, I need to run. Yeah, I mean it's the shortest <laughs> walk ever. <laughs> With your speed? Yeah. Alright, where's the honey? Uh, let's see. It's in one do of we, those. Do we have just a pile of honey somewhere or no? Okay. Uh, before we continue on, do we want to quick bop out, grab that uh, the mod for health bars and the uh, the mod for backpacks? Uh, yeah, sure. We can do that. Okay. Did you already bop out? You nope, you didn't. Nope, not yet. Disconnect. Do it. Yeah, I think I'll just make a breezy vest out of the trunk, and then that way. It can be. The trunk can just be retained over time. I don't think there's another use for it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, do you know what your health bar mod is? Uh, I can look that up. Let's get a workshop. Health bar. Most popular. Simple health bar DST, is that what you got? Yep, that's what I got. Oh, that'll be nice. Oop. Okay, mods. Server mods. I think don't starve crash because I was uh all tabbed on it. I guess it's not much of a mod list, but we've got achievements, campfire respawn, display food values, DSD advanced farming, equip slots, fast travel, global positions, increased stack size, infinite tent, inventory backpacks. Uh, let's see, backpack settings. Backpack can be in so stored inside your inventory or other container. Huh. Backpacks are waterproof. Yes. Backpacks are burnable. No. <laughs> if you can store them in containers, I guess that... Can they be stored in other backpacks, you said? You just have an, a bag of holding this way? Uh, it possibly. sounds recursive. <laughs> okay. I think, I think we're good. So they can't burn. All right. Oh, piggy back, piggy packs. The uh, the original pig backpack uh, didn't burn to begin with, so I guess we we should go kill some pigs. <laughs> we just need some pig skins, right? I think we yeah. we have some of those, right? I just put them in the chest. Uh, possibly. Well, unless you've taken them out. <laughs> uh, nope. Alternatively, we just All go right. kill a bunch of pigmen. Yeah, I'm down with that too. We know a place. Yeah. We know where the pigs are. Actually, the most efficient way is by turning them into werewolves first, and I think there's an achievement for that specifically. So we could hit that up before going into the underground. <laughs> Just the absolute most sociopathic, uh, like, murder hobo activities. <laughs> like, I mean,. The achievements really do push you in that direction. Yeah, it's true. I, I've i been reading a manhwa lately about how, uh, you know, people keep 
getting poofed over to this fantasy world uh, with the RPG mechanics and everything, and so they're they're acting exactly like we are now, where just everything is an EXP bar to them, and you know, just Ooh. disregarding. Uh, I tried to join your server, and my game had crashed earlier, so it updated, and I think now it's on a different version of the game. So I think I need you to quit and okay download the update now. Okay. You yeah, hadn't meant to do that. It just just crashed while I was out. Um. Yeah, do you read a lot of transmigration stories? I used to read a lot kind of at the beginning. Now Were they always video games? Many of them were, not all of them. Okay. Right, there's the update. Sneaky slight hotfix, there we go. Um, most of them aren't, like, being ported into video games, but many of them have video game mechanics leveling up and so on and so forth. The mm, okay. The problem I've run into is that so many of these transmigration stories are absolute hot trash. <laughs> yeah. That it's very difficult for me to actually enjoy them. Are, are many of them, um, kind of, like, non-professional works that someone has, like, posted on, like, some so, forum or website? Most of the ones are manga that were made of light novels that got big over in Japan. Uh, mm -hmm. So they'll do, like, the light novel will get popular, and then they'll do a, a manga adaption. And some of the stories are decent. Almost all of them feature one singular male character, a gaggle of completely meaningless female characters, and... You know, so you might have this really unique, interesting premise. The first, like, three chapters are kind of cool. And then girls two and three show up, and it's super obvious that, like, it's going to be a harem story. And then I just immediately blank out and stop reading, because what's the point anymore? <laughs> it's not I about mean... this interesting story, and it's about this character just showing off for women all the time. What, what exactly do you think the transmigration adds to that particular story? Oftentimes, nothing. So the one that I was describing earlier where the characters are, where the where the other people are, are acting like sociopaths, I feel like it added quite a lot, mainly just because watching, it, it, I mean, it's a parody to begin with, and so watching these characters kind of react to uh, effectively stereotypical RPG characters in a much more like realistic sense was kind of refreshing. Yeah, I think there's good commentary that it can do there. I think that is something that has a lot of interesting possibilities. Let's see. So are the pig skins in one of those? Uh, you know, I thought there's, I had pig skins in one of the chests here. There's two there. Yeah, it wasn't many. How many do we need? Four. Four. All right. Well, Let time me get for me big some murder. monster meat. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, there's uh, like a hundred one. here. Yeah, yeah, we should have a silly <laughs> amount. You want to give me... Right. Eh, no, no, no. I, I can give you half of that. Um, yeah, just... but if we're just going to go attack Pigtown, then who cares? I was just figuring out how to get this uh, breezy vest. It's fair. Yeah, I think I can wear it. I yeah, think I can just looks wear like it. you're wearing it. Uh, let's see, what's um, the RPG one I'm talking about? Uh, Sword King in a Fantasy World? I think that's the one I read. Um, but yeah, very very few... I, I think I've been having this issue with a lot of manga in general, is that so many of them are wish fulfillment in kind of the wrong ways. Yeah, I was going to say how much of it is, is kind of... You know, I, I guess it's kind of like... Is it Gary Stewing? Do you think that yeah. is part of oh, it? Yeah, oh, absolutely. Uh, okay. Gary Gary Stewing is a huge turnoff for me. Um, I mean, there's a there's a lot of different layers as to why why this sort of thing gets to me, but Gary Stewing is high on the list. What what exactly do you think like the wish fulfillment? Like, have you ever found yourself like falling into that trope when you've done writing? Is that like a thing that you find yourself I think susceptible so. to? I I think wish fulfill fulfillment can even be fine. I mean, uh, One Punch Man is probably one of the more obvious kind of, maybe jokey, but very much a, a wish fulfillment type of media. Really? You probably spent our spare mm, pig skins on the football helmets? Eh, maybe not. Oh, maybe. Um, <laughs> but like One, one Punch just... Man is... Oh, sorry. 
I was gonna say, I think for the pig skins, I've usually just gotten and hunted them <laughs> and then made it. Like, one, sh one Punch Man is an incredibly satisfying story. Yeah. But... It doesn't strike me as just wish fulfillment, though. Like, it doesn't feel no. like the author is saying, like, I am this guy. <laughs> yeah, but it, it it's still, like, Saitama himself very much is the the kind of wish fulfillment of, like, what if I was the strongest? And the commentary on the story is very much, like, it's this is a monkey paw curse. Yeah. I don't... You know, I, I, I watch those. I don't get the feeling that Saitama is that cursed. Like It's... He's bored. Yeah, I think he's bored, but I think it's, like... I think it, it feels like Saitama isn't unhappy either. Like, it's not that dreadful of an experience for him. It... So I've been reading more of the manga. I don't think he's depressed even, but that, like... He is disconnecting from reality as a result of it. Yeah, yeah, I guess that's true. Because like King's kind of the one who's like, "Hey, like, aren't you a hero? Because you can like do stuff." And he's like, "Oh, yeah, that's wow, that's that's powerful, isn't it?" <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's see. But no, for like a lot of these wish fulfillments. I, I think my biggest issue with them is just that the wish fulfillment takes precedence over good story writing characters and so on and so forth. Like, I've read and seen plenty of stories where the main character is obscenely overpowered, strong. Can we destroy the sign? Do we want it here? Uh, no. Nah, we, we, should, should probably... we should keep them. We should? Oh, but we have no idea where they go anymore, yeah, do we? Yeah, destroy this one. This this one needs to go. This was back before we started investing heavy points in movement speed. That's a good point. I will make a hammer. I'll dig up this grave and make a bunch of stuff that we can give to the pig while we're there. Hey. Oh, uh, in that case, should I go grab all of our trash that we should give to the pig? Oh, maybe. Yeah, here, I'll go do that real quick. Uh, but what's a good example? Uh, you probably never played KOTOR or Star Wars Force Unleashed, did you? Uh, no. No, I think Cause... my most exposure to KOTOR was just watching you play it. Okay, because in KOTOR, you were a strong character, but you were a character that had, like, a, a personal history and kind of a, a reason why you, you were strong. Because, um, yeah, because, oh, spoilers. I think I know yeah. why that's the case. <laughs> yeah, but so it's like, it didn't feel unusual for your character to be important to the story, even though, like, your background was incredibly Mary Sue-ish. You know, you, you are this guy that everyone wants to have in their pocket for whatever reason, and you don't really get why uh, ever until, like, you know, the, the big twist. Yeah, I don't, I don't feel like that feels like a, a Gary Stewing moment, though. Because that's like... But it wow, could have been. Why? It could have oh, been very it could easily. Have been. Yeah. yeah, if they never explained it, if they just, like, left it out. Exactly. And that so many of these stories have this character that is grossly overpowered, and the reasoning behind why is usually... Destiny? Yeah, destiny, some kind of meaningless kind of cooked up explanation because they couldn't come up with anything better. You know, uh, actually, re related to that was I was watching you play the game uh, Particle Fleet Emergence. Yes. The plot line to that felt, you know, it doesn't play up one character too much, but it felt really like it fell into a trap like this. Like, these characters are important because destiny. Were, were you satisfied with it, or did you find that you were disappointed so with it? Uh, the plot was kind of humdrum for me. The reason yeah, why okay. it was okay, from my perspective, is because, uh, you learn in, in Creeper World 3 that, uh, this one guy has been manipulating history for all of time. And so, uh, the, the main lead guy, when they reveal his last name and everybody's like, Oh, you're the scion of so-and-so, I've totally forgotten the name, uh... 
the re the big reveal on that is more or less just that like this is preordained by the main character from Creeper World Three, and he's just been like super big braining the entire plot of the story because that's the way it has to go for some reason, and I'm not entirely sure why that's the way it has to go, and a guy could have abused things more than he did. Um, but it, it didn't feel terribly ridiculous. Okay. But I also I don't play me... Creeper World for the plot. Yeah, I mean, that's that's fair. I, I guess it, it seemed like it was saved by just being, like, a pretty good game aside from all of that. Yes, 